Okay, I promise this is not a promotion at all, but I'm just really lazy these days and this is a quite popular brand in my country and they make this pre-made package that has really good meat to vegetables and lizard heart ratio so i'm buying these today to make food for my cat you can feed these raw too but i don't like feeding my cats raw i'm gonna cook this and i'm gonna tell you the ratio of a balanced diet so that you can use it as a guide this is 800 grams this whole package and it is set to contain 72 percent of chicken which includes mostly chicken meat and a little bit of chicken cartilage bones 5% of chicken gizzard and heart, 8% of beef livers, 8% of pumpkin, 2% of carrots, and 5% of sweet potatoes. Uh, in consumption, pretty much about 85% of protein and 15% uh, of vegetables. This is a pretty basic but very good guide a ratio for you to either make raw food or cooked food at home for your cat you can play around with the ingredients a little bit um, you can use fish if your cat likes fish beef pork let's have a little nutrition check we've got pr protein from the chicken calcium from your cartilage and bones we've got fiber from the carrots pumpkin and sweet potatoes we've got taurine from liver uh, gizzards and hearts if you want to, you can also add some omega-3 fish oil or even coconut oil to improve their fur. As I said, I'm not promoting for this brand at all, but I mean, it's, it's a really good idea for lazy people like me. If you don't have anything like this in your country, maybe this is a really good way for a startup, I guess. <laughs> uh, I might need to add a little bit of fish in here because my cat really loves the fishy smell and flavors. But uh, we'll see, I'll just make this and we'll see if she likes it. If she doesn't like it too much, I'll add fish later. And as I said, you can play around with the ingredients here a little. For the vegetables, you can use any kind of vegetables that you like, but I would highly recommend you to use anything that has kind of a neutral flavor. Um, carrots is a good start. You can also use broccoli. Things that are pungent and with a strong smells like beets are really not recommended. Speaking from experience, because I used to make, uh, I used to add beets to her food, and oh my god, the smell was so strong. I don't even like it. I had to discard like most of it. I'm gonna cook this here for a little bit and then cover it with the lid, add it back into its thermal cooker, and let it cook down for a couple of hours while I nap. I'm gonna blend this, but I also saved a little bit of meat in the pot so she can chew on some of the meat. And there you have it, your own chicken and gravy.